Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I live in Southern California, Zone 9B. For today's video, we're going to be doing a March garden tour. And compared to last month, I feel like things are starting to wake up and look alive and just grow really big. This is a Cosmo. I planted it last year sometime and it looks like a tree, but it's a Cosmo. Like here you can see how pretty these blooms just look. They're just gorgeous. These ones are gonna start to open pretty soon. This right here, it's I believe a cauliflower. I still have the garlics, the violas. Look at this. This hyacinth is so pretty and it smells really good. So pretty. I believe these little ones are carrots that I just sprinkled. I just sprinkle seeds all over the place. I don't know what this one is. That doesn't look like a carrot. I don't know what that is. Probably a weed. Look at this, it's starting to flower. This one, I'm gonna just assume that it's some type of broccoli. This one too. I just harvested some of the lettuce. So these lettuces I pulled out. Well, this one I pulled out. Some of them I just harvest just parts of the lettuce. So I still have lettuce here. And I also have red lettuce. I'm not sure if on this garden bed, but I know in the other garden beds and I'll show you. Also, these oranges, look at, they're almost ready, almost. They just need to get a little bit more redder and they'll be ready. They're, they're beautiful and it's starting to flower. We got some more limes and we're starting to flower on this as well. Let me show you over here. These are gonna open up pretty soon. Look at this strawberry. I'm waiting for it to be done. This, I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So if anybody knows what I'm doing wrong, then you just leave it in the comments down below. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that. That's a, a raspberry, a red raspberry. Blueberries. There's so much blueberries. There's garlic in between the beds also. Well, in those pots. This one is peonies. You can see some growth points right there. I have gladiolas there, some more garlic with some, again, raspberry. This one is a bush. That one I think is a vine, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Here is where my California poppies are, my chocolate mint, my mums. That one is a pineapple. I have some more tulips, some more mums, some rue, some potatoes. I thought that the frost had killed them, but we got potatoes. These are some dahlias. This one has not came up. Some mint. I think this is called Chinese lantern, right? They're pretty, the hummingbirds love this one. Some more dahlias. This looks like a dahlia to me, but I'm, I'm not sure. I, this one, I don't know what that one is. I think that one's a canna. I transplanted that from that tree over there. This is some gladiolas. So last year, if you look back, I had planted some cannas and some dahlias underneath these trees. 
but they didn't do that well because these trees just got too big and they were competing. So I potted them in those pots. So like there's the other cannas. So I don't know what that one is. That's not a canna. Some more strawberries, some tulips, some mums. These potatoes, this bag is not doing anything, but this bag, there's some potatoes there. And I want to use this to grow some flowers in, but I don't know. I have to see. That is a dragon fruit. There's so many birds. So many birds. I love it. They make a mess everywhere, but I do like having them here. I do want to show you guys this over here. I just bought these yesterday from Walmart. They were only a dollar thirty-seven. They're doing really good. So is the ivy. Some more succulents. These are lilies of the valley. Look how pretty. Some more succulents. Okay, let's go back to the garden then. These ones right here are gladiolas. Um, I harvest a lot of the spinach as well. So I'll show you that. I'll also show you where I have all my seeds. I still need to start a couple more in these empty pots. I'm gonna actually transplant that, that dragon fruit into this blue pot. So you can see I have a couple of empty pots that I still need to start stuff in. But right here, we have marigolds. This one is ginger. Green bean, I have some more gingers. I don't know what's in these ones. No. I haven't seen how they're doing. These ones are ready. These ones look really good. I don't remember what I planted in any of these. <laughs> um. I just don't like labeling because after you're done with the labels, they just kind of lie around in your garden bed. And I don't like that. I use popsicle sticks, but I don't have any more popsicle sticks. I like the popsicle sticks because they degrade with time. So I like, I like that. So this is starting to flower. It's really pretty. I'm hoping to let it finish flowering and then I'm just going to let it dry up here so that the seeds fall there so next year I don't have to plant any spinach here. That's what I'm thinking. My ranunculus are all doing really good. Oh, here's some, here's some red lettuce. Right there and right there. And I thought there was one more somewhere else. Cantleberry is finally starting to flower. I grew this, I'm not sure if last year or the year before that. And it's finally starting to flower. These tomatoes do not look good. After we had that snowfall, it just started to just turn ugly so I'm gonna pull these two tomatoes out I pulled the one right here out so I can give these um, parsley a chance and I just harvest those today as well but I'm gonna pull those out these flowers are so pretty of 
cauliflower is doing good. The birds are loving the bird bath. This one, I'm not sure if, what that one is. I thought it was a hollyhock, but I don't think so. So if you guys know, let me know down below. Um, oregano is doing really good. I harvest some of it. I want to harvest a little bit more. Um, my garlic. I need to come out and harvest some of that cilantro. Some more ranunculus. They're doing really, really well. I have a dahlia right there. Um, let me see what else. I have radish. You can see radish right there. And right there. Another hyacinth. These pots are doing really well too. I am excited for for like April and May because everything is just going to explode. But it's just going to look really beautiful. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye.